In central Hokkaido, the northernmost island of Japan, lies the city of Chitose, with a population of about 97,000 people. It is home to New Chitose Airport, Hokkaido's largest air travel hub. In 2019, over 25 million people traveled through this airport. In September of 2022, a traditional Ainu ceremony, Ashiri Chepnomi, was held in Shitose. Kamui Chep is the Ainu word for salmon, meaning fish of the deities, and they hold the distinction of being their historically most important fish. Ashiri Chepnomi in the Ainu language means ceremony to welcome new salmon. In the ritual, thanks are offered to the Kamui for the first salmon catch of the year, along with prayers for continued bountiful fishing. The Ainu are the indigenous peoples of Hokkaido and its surrounding areas. They have their own language and believe that spirits reside in all things and honor them as Kamui. They have also developed a unique culture, including prayer and dance. Many Ainu descendants still live in Chitose, working to pass on their culture. They ensure its preservation and legacy, including their traditional ceremonies. This program will feature preparations for the festival, the richness of the Ainu culture, and focus on their spiritual essence. This is Lake Shikotsu. Its transparency, as well as having the highest water quality, distinguishes it from among the many lakes in Japan, giving it a beautiful shine known as Lake Shikotsu Blue. In the Ainu language, it is called Shikotem Kotoho, meaning the origin of the Chitose River and plays a vital role as a water source in people's lives, even today. Lake Shikotsu is indeed the source of the Chitose River. As one of the largest rivers in Hokkaido and a tributary of Ishikari River, it is known for being rich with salmon swimming upstream to spawn. Atop an elevated spot near the river is Chitose Shrine. It is said to have originated in the 17th century as a shrine of prosperity built by the Wajin, the Ainu term for non-Ainu ethnic Japanese who traded with the Ainu in the area since ancient times. In the 19th century, the Wajin established the Chitose River trading post to exchange various goods with the Ainu people, and it bustled with horses and canoes carrying salmon. In the past, the Ainu people skillfully navigated their canoes with poles and paddles and used fishing tools called marek, a spear with an extending hook to catch salmon. However, in 1878, the Japanese government completely banned salmon fishing in tributaries, including the Chitose River, in an effort to preserve natural resources, which was a great blow to the Ainu people. These people are searching the forest. They are looking for wood to carve inau, a sacred tool used in the ceremony for Ashri Chepnomi, which is now a week away. The Ainu always convey their intentions to the deities of the earth before cutting down trees, and explain how they will use them as part of their coexistence with nature.
Inau are offerings to the Kamui, and new ones must be offered at the ceremony. Nakamura Yoshio was born and raised in Chitose. He acts as the president of the local Ainu Association. Other members cut the trees according to Nakamura's instructions. In order to not waste wood, he finds only the trees with the length best suited to carve inau. Each person cuts a tree, and I instruct them where to cut and which part, depending on how it will be used. I think that by looking back on this experience, each of them will eventually gain the ability to choose the right wood to craft an inau. The harvested wood is transported to a workshop in order to be prepared to strip the bark. The bark must be removed while there is still moisture in the wood prior to drying it for proper inau. Nakamura observes the length and characteristics of the wood and instructs on the direction to strip the bark. In Chitose, there is a saying that when making inau, to use Mizuki wood. Mizuki, also known as dogwood, is a deciduous broad-leafed tree that has long been considered superior to other lumber, as inau made from it are believed to transform into silver in the realm of the Kamui. Once the bark is stripped, the wood is dried for several days. It is now four days before the ceremony, and the inau are being carved. The dried mizuki wood is checked for moisture. During chipsanke, a ceremony to launch a new canoe to pray for safe travels, inau are placed at the bow and later burned as offerings to the fire kamui and other deities during the kamui nomi ceremony. They work in the hope that their people's prayers will be granted. This is Suehiro Elementary School in Chitose. Here, a variety of Ainu culture classes are taught in order for children to learn about the culture, the value of life, and coexistence with nature. It's the first and only place in Japan that a traditional Ainu dwelling, Chise, has been built on school grounds. The Ainu Cultural Class Initiative began in 1993 and was praised for its lessons, becoming an official school subject in 1996 and held throughout the school year. Teaching the class is Nakahara Naohiko. There are 100 hours of the Ainu culture curriculum for all grades, half of which are taught by local people, Ainu people, Ainu association members, and Ainu Culture Preservation Society members as instructors. In the remaining 50 hours, it is our role as elementary school teachers to expand upon the meaning of those lessons and try to make them that much more enjoyable and memorable. Salmon Hometown Chitose Aquarium opened in 1994 and is Hokkaido's largest freshwater fish aquarium. This aquarium has Japan's first underwater observation window that allows you to see directly into the water of the Chitose River and observe salmon in their natural habitat. An Ainu culture class field trip from Suehiro Elementary is being held in the canal behind the aquarium. Hello. 
First, they learn about the traditional Ainu fishing method, marek. This class teaches the children the preciousness of life. They learn how to use the hooked spear, marek, to fish for salmon. これ重たい鉄の鍵がついてますから。はい。トーンとくるとその重みでくるんと回って引っ掛けるとね。はい。はい、引っ掛けたら。で、こう、ま、当たったなと思ったら引きます。引いてあげます。で、かわぎしの方
approximately 470,000 salmon made the journey up the Chitose River. This was the third highest number in its recorded history. Improvements in their spawning environment this year are thought to be responsible for the increase in salmon. It's now the day before the Ashiri Chipnomi. 100 salmon to be used in the ritual are transferred from the tanks at the water wheel to a tank on a truck. The truck carries them to the site of the Ashiri Chipnomi ceremony. The salmon are released. A canoe constructed the previous year is also launched. It will be used to catch the salmon at the next day's ceremony. Other preparations were also being made. This Ainu song has been passed down through generations to sing while making tonoto in the hope that the alcohol offering for the kamui will turn out well. For the last 10 years, Ueno Ayumi has been in charge of making tonoto for every ceremony. This September was a little cooler than usual, so the fermentation had finished early and the temperature had dropped, which was perfect for straining. It's not too sour and just the right taste. It's perfect. This is a ramen shop in Chitose City. 19-year-old Tochigi Kazuki is of Ainu descent. He's been working here for a year and is already in charge of the kitchen. Tochigi has been playing the important role of catching salmon with the marek during Ashiri Chepnomi since he was 14 years old. He participates in all of the Ainu traditional events and is learning as much as he can about the culture. I think the most important thing is to continue the oral traditions. The more young people actively spread the word, the more people from our parents' generation come out and participate in the ceremony letting everyone know we are all connected by being Ainu. The day has finally arrived for the Ashiri Chepnomi. The ceremony honors the deity of water, Waka Ush Kamui, the deity of land, Shirikoro Kamui, and the deity of the village, Kotankoro Kamui. Prayers for the safety of the canoe are made by adorning the bow with inau. Tochigi now performs his part. Ashiri Chepnomi begins with the catching of Ashiri Chep, the new salmon that have just begun to migrate upstream. He sets the spear's hook, all while never taking his eyes off of the salmon's movements. The onlookers hold their breath in anticipation. The catch is over in an instant.
Tochigi hands off the salmon at the riverside. It is then handed off to Nakamura in his role as assistant priest. <laughs> the heart of the salmon is offered to the fire deity, Apehuchi Kamui, and the Kamui no Mi begins. The fire deity plays an intermediary role as the first to hear the people's prayers and wishes and conveys them to the other Kamui. Festival priest, Ishibe Katsuyuki, receives the Tonoto alcohol offering. Using an ikupasui to offer the inau to the fire deity. Tonoto is given to the participants as well. Facing the altar, Nusa. Prayers are made for a bountiful catch of salmon and the peaceful lives of the people. Inau are burned in the fire, completing the ceremony. This is how the tradition of Ashiri Chepnomi is being kept alive in the hearts of the people. <laughs> After the ceremony, a traditional Ainu dance is performed to express respect and gratitude to the Kamui. I am very happy that we were able to hold the ceremony. Salmon was the staple food of the Ainu people. It was extremely damaging to the tribes when salmon fishing was made illegal. 
It's my hope that learning about this history will help people understand us better. It took time to catch the salmon, and I feel I'm still lacking in skill. The key is really just to be patient and wait. It's very important to have gratitude in your heart for the life you're receiving. It's wonderful that the next generation is learning so much. Tochigi, who did the fishing today, is a real rising star. His future's bright. I hope he'll carry on the tradition. Two new canoes were being built during this year's Ashirichepnomi. Canoe building is another traditional practice. Step by step, the canoes were successfully completed, referring to materials written 30 years ago when the canoe design was reconstructed. And these canoes will be used in next year's Ashirichepnomi. It's now been a month since the Ashirichepnomi, and the two new canoes are being unveiled. This is the canoe launching ceremony, Chipsanke. Prayers are offered as the canoes that will carry salmon and goods are lowered into the river. <laughs> Exploring the lands of the Ainu, a people living in their ancestral lands, carrying on their rich heritage of living culture. The Ainu people and culture continue to endure and thrive as each and every one of them build the future of Chitose. <laughs>